Hi! In this screencast, we will show you how you can use Eclipse to create Java client applications and run them not only on desktop, but also on mobile and embedded devices. So, first of all, let's open Eclipse and let's go to install the Gluon plugin for Eclipse. In order to do that, we just go to Help, select Eclipse Marketplace, wait for the uh, content to be updated, then we scroll to the end and click on Browse for more solutions. Now we type in just Gluon, click Search and we find here our Gluon plugin. So we can just drag to install or just click and install. The first time you uh, install the Gluon plugin, uh, you just need to install it uh, with FX Eclipse if it's not already uh, on your system. So just confirm this. Well, all the dependencies are ready. We are prompted to just review the licenses and accept them. So let's click on accept and finish. So now we are prompt again because there are some unsigned content. This is due to some third party dependencies. We just click OK. And now we have to trust these certificates. So we click and select there and click OK. This uh, process to install the software begins and it would finish in just a few seconds. Installing FX Eclipse and Gluon plugin. We have to restart Eclipse, click yes, and Eclipse will be launched again with our plugin installed. Now that we have Eclipse back, we are going to create a new Java mobile project. So we have just to go to File, New, Select Project. As you can see, we have a Gluon category. So we can select from different templates for Gluon Desktop or Gluon Mobile projects. So for now, we are going to select Single View Project. We click on Next and we give a name to the project, for instance, Gluon Eclipse Demo. And we change the default location if necessary, or we use just the workspace for it. We can also change the, the package name. The main class name. And we select the platforms we are going to deploy our project. Typically your mobile platforms, Android or iOS or both. And it's very convenient to deploy first on desktop because it's really easy to test there and then deploy on mobile. As well, you can deploy it on embedded devices. So now Gradle is synchronizing the, the builds with our workspace and it's opening this template project. So if we open this, we see a bunch of packages Java packages for Java code or resources for CSS, FXML, images, and so on. We have the main folders and also platform specific folders for Android, desktop, iOS. So we can open uh, our package and with our just two classes. This is Gluon Eclipse class, main class. It will extend here mobile application. This means uh, we have a JavaFX application uh, with uh, some custom uh, code for making it mobile friendly. So instead of having a start method, we will just use the init method to add a new view. So this is the basic view we have here in this class. So a view is just a, a convenient layout 
to deploy our uh, nodes like a label or a button with some layouts or containers and also we can provide uh, on top of the view uh, an app bar where we can lay out some nodes for uh, some, to give some functionality. So this template is ready to run. Uh, so we just need to go to the Gradle task window and select our project, open, and in this list we have many tasks available for the project. So first of all we will select just run, double click, and here we have our JavaFX application for desktop with this button and with this label. We click, we change the label, or we can also click on the menu uh, button or on the search button without functionality for now. So this is the JavaFX desktop application. And now we would like to deploy it also on mobile. For that we have other tasks here, like Android, it will generate the APK, or Android install if you happen to have your Android device connected to your uh, laptop or desktop. You can just click uh, Android install, so this is what I'm going to do now. And on the console we can see some uh, steps towards the installation of this uh, JavaFX application on my Android device. So it has just ended, so I'm going to open now my Android device. So you can see here a bunch of uh, JavaFX applications. So Glue on Eclipse demo. This is the one we have just installed. So as you can see, we have the same JavaFX content. So we have this button here. We click on the button and the label change. And we see also the, the ripple effect when you click on the button. And you, if you click back, the application close. You can select launch iOS device from the list of tasks. And if you have your uh, iPhone or iPad connected to your Mac, uh, you can also uh, deploy on, on that device. So I'm going to click it. Uh, to click here and the process start. It usually uh, takes around one minute but only uh, the first time you have to compile all the Java FX classes, all the Java required classes because we use the head of time compiler so that will take really long time, maybe 20 minutes but after that around one minute. So now I'm going to uh, put my iPad on the screen as well. There it is. As you can see, now we have our Glue on Eclipse demo installed and we have the same content with this uh, button in the center of the view. We click and also, we can click on the uh, navigation icon or the action items. So, as you can see, it is really easy to deploy on either Android or iOS devices. So, now it's up to you to start changing the template and create your content for your project. Thank you for watching.